maybe. Whoa! Maybe. Okay, I think that's good. Is that no, good? No, a little bit. Oh, come on. It's good enough for now. We'll fix okay, it later. Ask everybody who's watching. Okay, it doesn't matter right now. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Okay, hi, Anna from California. She says she's a club member. Awesome. Ooh, Terry says she's coloring Thanksgiving cards. Love my Spectrum Noir pens. Me too. I'm actually going to use them today. Uh, so those of you, I don't think many of you have noticed this, but we did a special little release of an item that I took on HSN and we released it this morning as a flash sale. Just this morning, I'm going to talk about it and use it today in, in the video. Um, it's on flash sale today and uh, probably for the next 24 hours, but it's something I took on HSN. So some of you might already have it. Don't forget, it also has that little t um, flag that says, as seen on HSN. Okay. Oh, Connie, I love you. Connie says it looks fine. Ha! Hi, Debbie. Good morning. Um, working on the scarecrow fold, Dick Gretchen says. Awesome. My babies love that scarecrow. So I have a couple that I put on the refrigerator and I put the magnets on the back. And let me tell you, those babies are like, they, they like point to them. And then I go, what's the scarecrow wearing? And they say, hat, hat for hat. Isn't that cute? They're talking like crazy. Liam just this week has started like telling you stuff. So he's like, blah, 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 blah. And you're, you're just like going, yeah, uh-huh. I know, you know, cause he's like babble talking, but he's saying something. He really knows he's saying something, but obviously we don't speak baby talk very well yet. And so we kind of catch words here and there, but he is saying stuff. So we just agree with him. And, and then he'll, he's so cute. He shakes his head like that. He always just turns it to the side and he goes, does his lips like that. It's the cutest thing ever. Um, oh, I just, oh, those kids. Um, um, can you make a set of inserts for the Tic Tac box? Snowflakes, flowers, stars, diagonal stripes. Oh, that's an idea, Alfie. I like that idea. That's a very good idea. Um, Ellen says, I ordered the gray set of tri blends. They are supposed to be here Monday. Yay! You're going to love them. You're going to love them. Okay, so I talked about the calendar. I also did my November tray yesterday, finally. Um, I just wanted to show you a couple pieces. The funny thing is, is all of the tray stuff back there, half of it is still from October because they go, they coordinate so well together. So in reality, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a lot of the November items and put them on a different tray set that I have in my front room. So I have some items here, but some items are going to go on the front. Um, but the, the owl is from the November kit. The give thanks is from the November kit. Also though, it comes with, let me show you this. It comes with family. So you get to decide, do you want it to say give thanks or do you want it to say family? Now the little pumpkins are also part of the November and they were supposed to go in the jar, but I really like my leaf jar. So I'm leaving that alone. And so I just added little pumpkins here and there. But also this family, I wanted to use it on my tray in the front. So guess what I did you guys? Okay, let's do over, oh, let's do three. So what I did was I took my family and you know, hang on, here's the, let me grab this one so you can really see what I'm talking about here. Okay, so it was, you know, either one can go in the little tray thing so it can say give thanks or you can switch it out and have it say family, right? Great, awesome. Well, I wanted it to say give thanks and then I added these cute little guys and I don't glue them. I just lay them like that because nobody's going to play with the tray. You know what I mean? It's, it's going to be sitting by itself, right? So I did that. But then on this one, remember these magnetic frames that you can buy on the website are magnetic. Remember? So what did I do? I thought, wouldn't it be cool if I just put it on there like that? Well, I had to add a little bit of extra. I added two layers of cardboard. Can you kind of see? There's two layers of car. Oh, there. There's two layers of cardboard in there. And then I put my magnets on. And now I can line this frame up so it, it um, is even. So I have frame all the way around. And now look, it stays on. Isn't that cool? So now I have another piece for my tray that I can either use in another tray or I can use on this tray or I can use on a shelf or whatever I want. But I thought that was really cute. Also, I finished this frame. Now I didn't even, um, I didn't even paint this except the heart. I just painted the heart. Grateful, thankful, blessed. Okay, we can go back. So that's just the tray news. I just wanted everybody to see those because I thought that adding that family to that frame was like a really smart idea. 
to make, you know, just make it go further. Also, I did the family. Can they see? Uh, yeah, you guys can see this. So I did the family. I painted the blocks white and then I did the letters in black and then I did the heart. Now, of course, you could have this be one long stream if you wanted to, but I did it like that. So that's that. Okay. Um, hi, Debbie G. Um, Michelle says your fall decor is adorable and beautiful. Thank you. Love the November tray kit. Elgar says me too. Dee says she went to a Toby Mac concert a couple weeks ago here in Kansas. Yay! Yeah, we've seen Toby at Mac a couple times in person. I, I mean, in concert. And in fact, I got to meet him once, which was very exciting. Um, I got, her, got my picture taken. Um, and I can crop Ken out really well. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I think I actually did, though. Um, but yeah, it, it, was, it was really fun. He's very nice. Um, like, I mean, how is he not going to be nice? He just says hello, takes a picture, and you leave. But it was cool. Um, let's see. Beverly says she just got her Die Hard Club. Yay. Got some freebies. Yes. Aren't they awesome? I know. I know. I know. Um, also, just really quick, I think Yvette made this. I just wanted to share this because, yeah, Yvette made this. This is going on my Thanksgiving table when it's time. I got my cute little scarecrow. I got my acorn and then my box it. So, you guys, I always want you thinking the items that you buy from us are not just for card making, right? Of course, you can use them in your scrapbooks, but you can use them for your home decor. And I always want you thinking like a little bit further. Like, for example, this is our Tom Turkey. He's a stamp set, right, and a die set, but he's also on the calendar. So we always want to try to use it as more, more than not because, and there's the acorn again in, the, in, the, um, in wood, because I want you to like, you know, expand and use the items that you're already buying use them for other things, right? So then they're like, it's more worthwhile, right? Can I see the owl up close, Kathy wants to know? Sure. You wanna do overhead? Um, so this is it. I didn't want to paint him too much. So I just painted him like this. He's a mustard color. I did not paint the whites of the eyes. I just left them natural. I also left the back, the, the outside completely natural. And then I just did a little bit of orange here and then dark brown and then black and then black eyes. So I did less, sometimes I like to do less is more kind of thing, and that's what I did on my little owl, because I wanted to make sure he matched everything. Of course he does coordinate with the owl folded, right? He, so you could die Watch. cut, go ahead. What? Uh, your split screen. Oh, split screen, whoa! <laughs> that wasn't uh, supposed to be, but. <laughs> not supposed to be, but um, here, there, okay. Um, but I wish it was the owl was on the other side, whatever, okay. But, um, so this, you could cut him, cut it out on the die, with pattern paper if you wanted to, and then you could glue it on there, so that's totally up to you. But, um, and then I also, just so you know, I have him on one of the little letter stands. I like him to stand up a little bit higher. Oh, and my beads are falling. But, and then I, of course I have my Halloween beads on there still just because the colors match. Stay, okay, there we go, okay. Blah, blah, blah. I just like to decorate for the, like my fridge, you guys should see my fridge. It still has bats on it from Halloween because the babies love them, but it has scarecrows on it too. I just like, seen happiness around the house. <laughs> Glory says, awesome split screen, Ken. Wow, she liked that. <sighs> Debbie says, hopefully her diehard comes today. Yes. Love the split screen, Be Brenda said. I almost think I like the split screen better than the picture in picture. Ken. We'll have to start taking votes. Okay, so do you guys <laughs> like, and this will be for we'll our first raffle. We'll just test it every once in a while okay. to see how, if everybody well, we're loves do a raffle it or right now. sick of it. Do you like the split screen better or do you like the picture in picture where I'm a little picture up here and then the big picture? So add that to your the, um, the comments and that's for a chance to win a $25 gift certificate to the website. Do you like the split screen where it was half and half or do you like the little tiny picture in picture over here and then the big screen. So you guys decide. There's no wrong answer. We just want to hear what you have to say. And then, oh, split screen, Diane says. Split screen, split screen. So Kenny's going to look at them all. Uh-oh. It's just because it's new. No, look at them all. Okay, one picture in picture. Wow. Split screen I like because it was bigger. Yeah. You could see it better. Right. Okay, so as you guys are voting, I'm going to jump in and I'm going to talk about really quick. Let's do camera three. Oh, let's do split screen. No, can't do that right now. Why? Because I can't go back and find it. Oh, okay. <laughs> he doesn't know how to do it. That's why you don't want us to vote for split screen. You don't know how you did it. Okay, so there is, this is the stamp set I took on HSN. It's called Christmas Mouse to stamp. And we're going to use him today. A lot of you already have it. If you do not have it and you want it, it is on flash sale today along with the matching dies. 
the matching dies are on there as well this came out i believe two years ago on hsn and we're finally just now releasing it um and we thought you know what it'd be fun to do it on the air right now boom done so if you like it after i'm done you can go get it um after um after the video if you want to it'll be on flash sale both pieces just a heads up so what we're going to do is we're going to open this up and i always love getting a new stamp set as you all know and i have this and i am going to get i'm going to color it so i'm going to have my uh, i like to use the spectrum noir paper when i'm going to color with their pens because right it makes more sense to color with their pens on their paper with their ink right and so I'm gonna grab that, and I only use this paper for coloring. I don't use it for anything else because, you know, you wanna save it and keep it, you know, because it is a little bit more expensive than regular. So I'm gonna grab out my block, and I was wondering if I had the new block that just came out. It looks like I don't. How funny that I don't have, like, the new block. Okay, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna peel this up. Oh, Kenny, could you get my rotating design board? It was right by the paper pad that you grabbed please and I'm going to this is the first time I'm using it but I am going to ink it up now I am using the flagstone I sometimes like to use instead of black I sometimes like to use a darker gray we have a couple options there's also like dark browns to use with the pens but I really like to use sometimes dark brown or dark gray instead of black so I'm gonna press I'm pressing on the back and I'm also using my stamper secret weapon what wow that looks really good now even though that was the first image i am going to stamp it again because remember the first time you're supposed to always stamp on scratch but i was too lazy to do that thank you baby and so i'm inking this again i'll probably use the second image because usually it's a tiny tiny bit better thank you and i'm going to press down there we go look at that awesome okay so what we're going to do is i'm going to peel this up and put it back before i forget before i lose it and I did put my crafters, my craft station over here, my workstation, because I think I found in the class, was it in the class when I decided I liked it over here better? I don't remember. Okay, so I'm gonna bring this over. This is my rotating design board. I haven't colored very much on camera, so this is kind of fun. So I do have cardstock underneath because you always want cardstock to absorb the extra ink. And I'm just gonna clip this on. I do like to use the clip because when I move it around, it doesn't like go anywhere else. Um, and we're gonna start coloring. So I pulled out, and you'll definitely want to do camera three on this, Ken. I pulled out, and it, can you zoom in yet? Have you learned how to zoom in? No. Ah, oh, okay. You can hold the markers up. Well, I know, but I can't hold the coloring. No. Up. Okay, so there's my markers, and I'll write it down so you know. But, oh, and just a heads up, I highly recommend what Darlene and Tammy did for me. Tammy made the this one, and uh, Darlene made, hang on, where'd the other ones go? She sent me extras too. Where did the other ones go? I use both of them. I actually do use both of them, which is funny because I always like to make sure that I'm doing, and I always have my extras if I just want to color, you know, like here's some that if I just want to color I, and I have some already ready to go. But I do use these way more than I ever in a million years thought I would. Um, it's kind of funny. I just didn't think I would need to, but you really do. Why? Because... For example, I'm like, oh, I want him to be red. So I looked at these and I'm like, okay, look at this one. Look, oh, I go, oh, I like that dark red blend. Then I go to the other one and I make sure I like the dark red blend. Yes, I do. Okay, let's find the dark red blend, right? So there is it, there it is, dark red blend. And I go to my markers and I'm like, oh, uh, what? This is pink. Does that look pink? That color lid? Doesn't that color lid look uh, nothing like what I just told you it look was? Well, that's why you do color charts because pink, that pink does not look anything like that. Even on camera, it doesn't. Um, let me show you this. Now, and why is that? That is not a mistake by Crafter's Companion. That is not a mistake. It's because this is plastic and this is paper. It's a different surface. This is the closest they could get to this color on plastic i know that makes like really no sense in our minds but it's true there that you can't match a color like this could never officially match the cardstock right because it's it's like how you would make it it's just blah blah trust me okay just trust me so it's not a mistake on their part at all it's not a flaw it's that's just life so that's why you want to do your color charts and that's why they have these color charts because they want you to know which color you're really using. 
So I of course want to use the dark red blends. I'm also going to use, and I'll pull, uh, let me see. I'll pull these up. Kenny, can you check the um, questions and stuff? Because I'm sure there are some, but I, I have a lot to do. Do you want so. our winner first? Oh, yes. I'm sorry. Pick a winner. Our winner's from YouTube. YouTube. And she, of course, said split screen. Ah! Uh -huh. I can't ooh, do it. Ooh. And it's brand new. <laughs> yeah. And it's Bam Massey. Bam Massey, you just won a $25 gift certificate to our website. You are going to email Faylene at info at the stamps of life.com. Ken, you're going to go to three so they can see what I'm doing. And uh, you're going to email Faylene at info at the stamps of life.com. And she is going to get you that gift card, gift certificate, gift code, whatever it is, in the next day or two. Carol wants to know where do you get the color charts? Uh, you can make them yourself. So Tammy made it using one of our stamps. Or you can get them on Crafter Compa Crafters Companion's website. Yeah, that's what April just said. You can download the charts off Crafters Companion. Thank you, April. Now, I'm just going on the outside because I'm, I'm going to make him darker on the outside. Now, they always recommend that you do small spots first because you want the ink to be wet when you're blending it, okay? So I started just with this little tiny spot. Now, you know what? We really need to get a camera that can zoom in, Kenny. Like seriously, like order it today, okay? Because they can't see what I'm doing and this, this is like a big deal. Hmm. So what I'm doing here, I'll do it over here. I, I'm starting with the lightest. So this is DR1, dark red one. And I'm gonna do this one section. I'm gonna color this whole section. I like to go around the edges the first because, and I'm gonna go over that button because it doesn't matter. Um, I'm gonna go over and I like to do the corner edges first so I don't have to like worry and then I'm gonna color it in. This is the lightest color I'm using, right? Lightest color. Great, done, boom, right? Let me zoom it in, right? That's it, no big deal, no big deal. No, but look at that, look at the left. The left side is not shaded, the right side is shaded. See the difference? One, the left side is flat, the right side just looks more beautiful. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do, and I'll zoom it in again so you can see, I'm gonna go, now, there are rules, right? They say, oh, well, if the light is coming from over here, you want it to be lighter here and darker over there, or if the light is coming from over here, you want, blah, 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 blah. I do what I wanna do. Do you think the people I give this to go, ah, your light source wasn't correct? They yes. Say, Shut up, Kenny. <laughs> they do not. They do not. They say, oh my goodness gracious, you colored that. That is beautiful. Okay. I want you to do what you like to do. I usually say, okay, I want it to be darker on the edges. Or I say, okay, I want it to be darker on the inside. Or I say, okay, I want it to be darker here or here. I want you to enjoy yourself, okay? And the way that I've learned to enjoy myself by coloring is to not worry about where's the light coming, blah, blah, blah. No, just color it and make it pretty. Okay, that's all I do is color it and make it pretty. So you start with the light. And now we're gonna do overhead again. We're starting with the light. There we go, I did the light. Now I'm gonna do dark. Carol says, my grandson loves your voice. He is finally sleeping well. My first time with it, my seven week old grandson. Oh, Carol, how exciting. Frank and Sharon say another advantage to doing color charts is that you test each pen. One of my brush markers was defective, but Faylene was so nice about it. Awesome, good idea. Susan says, thanks for the laugh, Ken. And Ken was mad at me because I kept, I, I yeah, stayed in camera You told one. me to switch to camera I'm three. Like and then. <laughs> you, um, Yvette says, I'm like you, I do what I want, laugh out loud. And they do, and, wait, and if they do, they don't deserve the card if they say anything. Yes, you're right. Lois says, I like how you think about coloring. I stress a little bit over it. Yeah, a lot over it. Lois, I did too. And that's why I always said I would never color. And then Crafter said, let us send you these pens. And I said, no, I don't like pens. I don't color. I don't color. I don't like coloring. I've taken the eight hour classes twice to be certified by a different company. And I still don't like the pens because I would pick one and then I'm like, well, wait, now I need two other pens to make this one work. And I wouldn't know which colors to get. And I did blah, 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 blah. And then they sent me these. All of the numbers are done for you. It's three pens in one. I don't have to buy three pens by themselves and spend three times the money. So that's why I like these pens. Okay, 
I hope some of you have them. If you have them, please post that you like them or not, just so people can know. Diane says, I love my tri blends. You don't even have to buy them from me. I don't care where you buy them. But of course, Ken doesn't like that idea, but no, I'm just kidding. But the point being, these are less stress. These don't, I don't stress at all. I'll sit in front of the TV and just color. And I don't have to stress. I don't have to worry about the light. I don't have to worry, wait, does this number match this number? Does this shade match this shade? No, 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 none of that. Okay, back to one for real this time. Okay, so I, I colored the light one, right? Now I'm gonna go with the dark one that's on the same marker. I'm gonna go on the edge because I want mine to be darker on the edge. And I'm just gonna go a little bit, how much, whatever you want. Remember, no rules. Now, I'm gonna lift it up so you can see. See the dark and the light? See that? Wait, where's my finger? See that? How you can see the line? You're like, ooh, that looks ugly. We want it to look like this where there's no line. See that ugly line where it's dark and light? Okay, so what am I gonna do? I'm gonna take the middle marker. I'm gonna take the middle one now and I'm gonna color over this one. So I'm gonna color, so I'm going over the dark and over the light. And I'm literally like erasing that line, that dark and light line, okay? Now what do I have? I'm gonna do it a little bit more so you can really see. Now what do I have? I have the line now between the medium and the light, right? You can no longer see the dark line, but now you see the medium line, right? Now I'm going really slow so you can really get it, but this is, it's really, it's a lot faster than this. So now I'm gonna go back to the light, only using three colors, go back to the light, and now I'm coloring over that line. A little bit into the medium and a little bit into the light, and I'm going all the way to the end. Right there. Okay, now I'm gonna hold it up. Look at this, you guys. You see no lines now. No lines. I know, no lines. Carol says, I'm confused. I thought you said a few weeks ago to die cut, then color. No, I usually, 99% of the time, I will color and then die cut. I always stamp and then die cut, so I'm coloring first and then die cutting. Because that way I don't have a little tiny piece to try to hold down. I have a big piece, big piece. Um, let's see, Brenda says, I have the Copics and love them, but I bought the Spectrum Noir tri blends from you and, uh, from you. And when I did the color charts, I fell in love with them too. Yes. Awesome. Oh, Carlon just got her tri blends this week. Yay. Car Christine says easy shadowing when, where it, it, easy, I'm sorry. Easy shadowing is where objects meet and the arm torso shadow would be where they meet. Yes, that's true, that's true. Okay, so now I've done that. Now I'm gonna go a little bit faster, but I'm gonna keep doing the same thing. Again, I'm starting in with the light in one little section, and I'll do what Christine said, and she said it's usually darker like on the inside, so that's what I'll do. I'll do that, I did the light, then I'm gonna do the dark on the inside right there, and then I just did a little bit, and then I'm gonna do more of the medium, I'm gonna color over that line, and now I have that next line, and I'm gonna grab my white, and I'm gonna color over that. And now you don't see that at all. All you see is gorgeous. Now I'm gonna take the light again. The cool thing is part of this guy is just gonna stay white, so I don't have to worry about it. And I'm gonna do the dark, just a little bit on the inside. Now I highly recommend using their ink and their markers for color, whoops, for coloring, because they formulated all of it to work together. Now, yes, you can use other paper. Yes, you can use other inks. Not my inks, you can't use my inks when you color, but it is, you're gonna get better results if you use everything that's made together. So I am using my rotating design, but you'll notice I use that quite a bit, more than I even notice until I really start moving around. So again, I'm just gonna go around and around. I outline first. Now, is that how you're supposed to do it? I have no idea, but that's what I do. So I'm gonna go around. I just don't want you guys to think there's so many rules, like I was taught in the, you know, 15, 20 years ago. Oh, there's rules to this, there's rules to that. Oh, come on, let's just have fun, right? Cindy has bought a set of the tri blends for her granddaughter. Wow, your granddaughter, nice. Cindy, is gonna love that. How exciting. They really are an artist type pen. So you really do feel like, you know, you feel awesome when you can do this. And it's not like the Crayolas, you know, Crayolas, you'll always have those lines. There's nothing wrong with Crayolas to start with, but um, you know, you'll always have those lines. So this is literally getting rid of all of those unsightly lines. 
Brenda says she used the TSOL tweezers last night for the first time, and they are awesome. Awesome. <laughs> That's what I like to hear. Now I'm going to do a gray mouse. So I'm going to do D, whoops, D, R. And I always like to write it down so you, um, I can remember. Oh, this is not DR. This is BG. Where did I get that? I'm not sure of this question. I think it's from Linda. Can't we use your Forever Black? No, I do not recommend using the Forever Black. Um, I worry too much that it will bleed on you. So I really, really, really recommend you use their inks. And if you're only going to buy one, I would recommend buying the black. But after a while, you might say, oh, because see, with my Forever Black, I wouldn't want to do what I just did. I colored over his face because it's all ink. So yeah, I just really recommend not do, using our Forever Black. Um, and then I'm going to color his little ears. Now, his ears are two pieces, right, technically, but I'm going to color all of it just like that. And then... Kim wants to know, can you emboss the image that is stamped with Spectrum Noir ink pad? Is no, they dry too... I believe they would dry too quickly before you could, um, you could get um, embossing ink on them. this and we're going to ink we're going to color over that color over that okay and then we're going to go back to our light i gotta go back to do the ear but i did too many pieces there so i'm just going to go over the face don says it will bleed it will bleed thank you love yeah so now i'm going to do his ear watch this i'm going to go around and do all of that and then i'm going to do all of his mostly the inside of his ear right like that and then I'm going to go here and I'm going to color over that like that. And then Susan says she got a, a set of these markers for a 12 year old grandson just for himself. Wow. Oh my gosh. We have great coloring time together. That's awesome. Yeah. Our grandsons have used my pens before and then I had to get new ones. <laughs> Um, After they ate them? No, they didn't eat them. They just <laughs> pressed down too hard, and then I wasn't happy. So, Aww. But, yeah, once they get a little older than 20 months, then definitely they can get their own numbers, <laughs> right, guys? Okay. And then it is. It's special time. I told Kenny I can't wait to start cooking with the babies. Um, I want to start making cookies and stuff, but <laughs> obviously they're a little too young still. You can do that f fresh. What is it? What did you just order? Hello Fresh. Yeah, Hello don't Fresh. Recommend. Right I don't don't talk about things I don't recommend <laughs> because I'm mad at them still. Okay, so we're gonna add this. Add this. Oh, I didn't realize we have black boots here. Okay, so I'm gonna like kind of go a little bit faster because we could be here till tomorrow. But I'm just gonna add this. Ponce says I'm confused. I thought the flash sale was normally on the seventh. It is. Is this a special flash sale? It is a special flash sale because <laughs> it said, wouldn't fit on the schedule, and it was either do this special one or wait till next year. And my inventory accountant would shoot me if I did that. Also known as my husband. It was like now or never. It was either now <laughs> or never, and so I said, okay, now. So yes, you are right. It is not surprise normal. flash sale. Supplies, surprise Sub flash sale. <laughs> Luckily, our shipping is really cheap. So if you want to just get this one item, you can. Um, that's up to you. Uh, and then I got to do boots. Sorry. Hang on, guys. I got to grab uh, one a darker gray. Oh, see? Now I got to go back to my chart because I want to make sure I grab the right one. So I want to find a dark black. Ice gray shade is like black, like which makes no sense at all, right? So um, the name. Uh, Trina says she agrees about the tweezers. I even bought a second set for a gift. Oh, that's great. That was smart because you'd be surprised how much you really use those. Ice gray blend. Will you know, those. December is coming. A lot of the things we have make good gifts, huh? If you have a crafty friend. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. If you have a crafty friend. Now, I'm just going to go dark because black is black, you know, pretty much to me. So I just go, I just don't, I don't try to shade black because I want these to be really black. Okay. Yeah, like the secret weapon would be good. Mm-hmm. Okay. Can never have too many blocks. Some ink okay. pads. Oh, look how cute my little guy is. Now, you will notice if Kenny could zoom in, but he can't zoom in, so I will hold it up. Um, you will see, like, on the little white, look on his little collar of the white. There's a little tiny speck. I have to really zoom in. There's a little tiny speck that's not very good. There's, like, two. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my illustrator pen 
and this is well what's it really officially called it's called the blender and i am going to and can they see it? i am going to like color in the white and i'm gonna like push that ink out and it kind of acts like a little eraser and it will it dilutes the ink and it kind of makes it go away so i'm gonna like trying to push it the other way right so i'm kind of like going into where it should go There we go and it kind of like it, it like erases it okay so there's my little mouse I'm gonna die cut him really quick now another thing that I'm gonna show you because um, it didn't really get shown except in when did we do it oh in the class so what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to crudely cut him out a little Kate wants to know what gray color you used on the mouse oh let me Here. tell you maybe she missed that I think. uh brown gray so BG brown gray blend brown gray blend so now what i have is my cute little adorable professional looking mouse and i'm going to take the die cookers what you doing baby what you doing oh and that again some of you already have this die set and stamp set i do see we have like 300 why is viewers not, why on is it <laughs> we have like 300 viewers on youtube but we only have 105 likes so if you want to click a like that would be awesome did you pull this from inventory we're having a minor little <laughs> did you pull these from inventory i think they sent that one to us Will you text Eileen ask her to send us a copy, a picture of what's in stock? Mm -hmm. The die art's not flipped. Mm -hmm. I don't know how this is possible. So when you're designing stamps and dies, you have to flip the die artwork. And the original time we did this, the die artwork was flipped. However, the second time Stephanie ordered these, it looks like the die art was not flipped. And that is a severe problem. So. We're gonna have to fix that. Um, in the meantime, we will do this. We'll go old school, but we are going to need to pull those and do something else. Okay, so we got that. That is not good. Real life, my friends, real life. <laughs> Crap. Um, because we will have to um, either pull them, Ken, or... Um, send out replacements and I don't know what's going to be easier well we could send out replacements and uh, I don't know whatever you want to yeah. do okay so we're gonna to have to send replacements because this way you can get them and then you'll have you'll have it for now and then when, as soon as we get them in stock you'll have the real one okay so uh people that um I haven't had a chance to um see this this is the mini Gemini um I've been using it for a long time but I haven't used it on camera because um, I wasn't, I, it wasn't on our website. So what I'm gonna do, um, Corinna says you can't make this stuff up. I know, I know, I know, it's awesome. Um, luckily for me, it's, um, luckily for me, it's a small die set, so it's not gonna cost me a billion dollars to fix, but um, that makes me question all of the, hang on, so that, I wonder if all of the art's not, the die art's not flipped or if it's just the mouse, hang on. Let's just entertain myself really quick. Oh, looks like it's all. Yeah, it's all lovely, lovely, lovely. So much fun. Okay, so what you do for the mini Gemini is you literally, and I'm gonna trim this just to make sure it goes through. Um, you, you have these like little fake looking embossing folders and you just put your little item in here. I believe this is a three inch opening bigger than the competitor. Huh? And you can just throw this in there and you don't have any extra nothing. You just run it through. It does stick to your desk if you want it to because it has those suctions. But it's a very fast die cutting, which is really, really fun. So here we go. Um, the dies are not totally unusable, but we will replace them. Don't worry. But now we have our cute, whoops, sorry. We have our cute little guy die cut. So it is usable, but we will have to fix it because that's not appropriate. And what we're going to do now is we are going to make a card. Um, oh, that's just like, 
take a deep breath, Stephanie. I know. It'll it's not a big okay. deal. I know. I know. It's just a hassle to have to mail those all out. Okay. So what we're going to do is if you order the die, don't worry. In approximately 31 days, we will be sending you new versions. But in the meantime, buy the old version so you can at least use it. I just held it. Did you see me? I held it up to the window, lined it up, taped it down, and ran it through. But don't worry. You will get the replacement um, because obviously we made a mistake. Ste I'm sorry. Stephanie made a mistake. Okay. So we are going to move on. We are going to die cut. I'm going to use the Merry Christmas. And I did get white card stuck in here. I know I did. Regular white card stuck. There it is. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to die cut my, I'm going to use my Merry Christmas fold it. I'm going to fold that in half and I'm going to run this through. And this is not the right paper. I don't want to use the expensive stuff. The good stuff. There it is. And so I'm going to run this through. I'm going to lay this down and I'm going to run this through. Uh, I'm gonna there's two extra sh I mean there's two shadow dies on this so I'm gonna use the largest one and I'm just gonna run that through of course luckily for me it says place die blade here I mean place fold here so I know exactly where to place that fold I'm gonna lay that down and I'm gonna run this through just like that oh my machines backwards look at that this is just like entertainment value right I was die cutting the opposite way okay Sometimes I don't like to go all the way around when I die cut. Okay, so there we go. Run that through. And now what we have is we have our fold it, right? And here's our fold it. Do, 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 do. But it doesn't look very good on the front. And so what we want to do is we want to die cut that again because the front to the top just doesn't look as good as it should. So we're going to grab another piece and we're going to do the exact same die, but by itself. And I mean, without the fold. So we're going to lay that down. The good news is I get to go to Olive Garden today. Now, I'm oh, let's just run that through real quick. Um, we are meeting a good friend at, for lunch today. Um, somebody I haven't seen, Kenny and I figured out in two years, which is amazing because of this darn virus. Okay, so now I have that piece cut out right there. And we're gonna lay that on top, but first we're gonna grab our kiss cut pad. And we are gonna lay this down just like this because I want to know where to put the Merry Christmas letters, right? So I'm gonna lay this down. I'm gonna line it up so there's all the way around. Just one little spot because it could cut where I put that. I'm gonna lay that down now. I all, oh, oh well, we're gonna run this for first. Okay, so we're gonna lay that down now. What is this kiss cut pad doing? What it's doing? So it's instead of a cutting pad. Normally I would put a cutting pad on, but instead of the cutting pad, I use the kiss cut pad because then we're gonna lift that up and now you can see. Oh, sorry. Now you can see. Let's do three. Mm -hmm. Now you can see those little lines. Hang on, let me zoom it in. See how? The, see now you can see where I'm gonna put all my letters because it's, it made a little imprint so I can put all my letters. Now, I've already die cut the word Mary because I keep all of my extra pieces in my envelope. I already have green, so I'm gonna do red. Now I'm gonna grab my strawberry. I'm gonna grab some adhesive sheets. So I have a, an adhesive sheet right here. I'm gonna peel that up. And we're gonna lay that down just like that. And I'm gonna trim this because if I don't, I will accidentally die cut where there is no adhesive. Just like that. Now this whole thing is a sticker, right? So I'm gonna take my letters and I'm gonna do all of them because eventually I'll use the red Mary, right? So I'm gonna lay that down and I'm gonna run this through. Now every single letter, once I run this through, will be a sticker. Crunching is normal. That's just the blade going through the cutting pad. And now here we have dun, 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 all of, well, I can see it, but you can't. <laughs> I got, I started, looking, busy watching. I started looking at the comments. Oh, okay. So oh. now we have all of the letters die cut. Let's do three. Three's better. All the letters die cut. And now I'm just going to quickly lay them all down. So we're going to do Mary. So go ahead and read the comments to me so I can. Will the snail to mail ever be back in stock? Good question, Kenny. Yes. They should be. He ordered any it in August. Day. Yes. So. He ordered it in August, my friends. We are trying. We are that trying. That will come back. Where are you going to lunch? Olive Garden. Whoop, whoop. Mm. 
Stephanie's favorite place. For Are you lunch. just going to eat the Alfredo sauce yes, straight? Yes, because they Nothing have... <laughs> They now have this thing where I'm sure they're going to get rid of it, so I have to do it as many times as I can. Um, you can eat, you can get all you can eat Alfredo sauce for the table for $4.99. Now, I assure you, I can eat a lot of Alfredo <coughs> sauce. In fact, I eat it like soup because their Alfredo sauce is so good. Um, and why bother with the bread? Just eat it with a spoon. And Kenny, they don't believe me, but tell them it's true. It's true. It she might true. not even use a spoon. She might Shut. just use her fingers. No, I don't. I use a spoon. Put her finger in the bowl. And I'm not that crazy. Now, really quick, because that looks great, but I really, really, really wish that I would have um, inked some of it. So I'm going to do the red really quick. And I'm going to grab out the red. Carlin, the Peacock ink pad is coming out later this month. Woo! Yes. Coming soon to a theater near you. Okay, so here's my red. I'm gonna grab this. And because I already have paper on there, isn't that awesome? And I'm just gonna go whoosh, 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 just on the bottom, just for fun. Okay. And you'll notice it just really, really adds. How am I in time, baby? Good. Okay. Okay, so now I have my Merry Christmas. Now I'm going to start peeling these up. you got to keep talking, Kenny, because it's going to take a minute. I'm going to ask a question. Stephanie, will the platinum cutting machine fit well on the 12 by 12 rotating plate? Yes. No. I have mine on the 8.5 by 11 or, the, you know, that size. But it will fit on the bigger one. But I honestly would just get the smaller rotating design board because it's cheaper. And you always want to save money, right? Lady J wants to know, are you recognized when you go out to restaurants? No. <laughs> nobody knows who I am. You're so sweet, but no. Yeah. Every once in a while, if we plan ahead, but no, yeah. not for real. <laughs> Except one time in Texas. Remember that one time, Kenny? We walked, we were at an Olive Garden, and we walked by this table, and I heard this lady say, because we were at a convention, and I heard this lady say, that's Stephanie Bernard. And so I, I thought, oh, how sweet. So I turned around, and I said, hi, how are you? And she goes, good. And so we started talking. And I said, oh, did you go to the convention today? And she said, what convention? <laughs> yes. And remember that, Kenny? And I said, uh, I think it was the Great American that time. And I go, the Great American scrapbook convention? That's why I'm in town. And she's like, I didn't know it existed. I didn't know it was here. And I'm like, wow. And I said, so you just happen to know that I just, you didn't think I was in town. You just like said, oh, there's Stephanie. And she goes, uh, yeah. I said, wow, that's pretty impressive. Um, Seriously, a famous person could come up to me and I don't, I don't like, I don't like, I'm not good with, well, I am good with faces, but I'm not good with famous people. Well, I don't watch movies, so I guess it's probably. Linda wants to know if the Kiss Cut pad will work with the smaller machines. It will. I have heard that it does work with the Gemini. Sometimes you practice on scratch paper because it's, it depends on the thickness of your cardstock. It's all about the thickness of the sandwich. So you're, you're going to have to practice, but it will work. Yes. We do not have any more ink colors coming out this year, do we? Not this not year. Not this no. year, right? But so we've started year. working on the new ones. <gasps> Lou Jean, the pig pudgy will not be back in stock until January. I see your question there. Yes, not till January. Yes. Yeah. Are there new mini ink pads coming out? Janice wants to Literally know. Literally this month, but we don't... Um, it's going to be like a secret release because they weren't even in the video that we recorded. They were not in the video because I didn't have them yet. Amazing. I know. Well, hey, welcome to COVID <laughs> times. Kenny's worried. Oh, by the way, you guys, Kenny's worried there's going to be a shortage on turkeys. Yes, that's so, true. Because we have Thanksgiving every I can year, just so hear it. I can just feel it. Yep. Like not enough turkeys Somebody's just babies out to ruin something. our Thanksgiving. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know who so it is. But <laughs> anybody, if you know, have heard that or not, I think it's I, we're starting a rumor right now because Kenny just feels it in his bones. So go get your toilet paper and your turkeys and you'll be all set for Thanksgiving, right? <laughs> <laughs> what about potatoes? I'm worried about potatoes too because you know I love my mashed yeah. potatoes. Turkeys, okay. uh, they're going to be either... Uh, there's not enough drivers or there's not a, there's just going to be a, not enough turkeys. They're just for some reason. Yeah. Okay. So see this extra Mary, you guys, <laughs> this is going right back into my Merry Christmas fold it. Um, 
envelope so I don't have to recut more. See, look, I even have more over here. I put those all in there because that way next time maybe I won't have to cut, die cut as many, right? And for example, I, I reuse that Mary. So I'm going to get this all back in there right now just so I don't have to think about it. There are two layering dies, so if you don't like that larger white, you could have done a smaller one. But that's just a heads up on those. Don't see the other piece. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to take this and we are going to line that up and we're going to add adhesive. Here's another one that I did. Here's an example of one that I did um, with the extra background. So you see the dark green in the back. That's if you didn't want that large white um, background, you could do less by using another color. Okay, so I'm adding this. Right Kathy here. wants to know if we're bringing back the Arctic animals online class. I don't know. I believe we are, right? But I, I would think we would. Yes. But I'll just an example, you guys, the plant class. The plant class was probably our most popular class ever because, hello, you guys, we did not do three cards. We did like 10 projects. It was huge. Um, that class, just so you know, I don't think is coming back for a full like 14 months. So because we're coming out with more new classes next year, I believe we have six new ones on the schedule. So that means we have less room in the schedule for re-releases. So just a heads up on that. When you see a class, if you halfway like it, I would get it because it's going to be a longer wait now for those to come back as a, as a reorder. So How do you know when it's time to replace your kiss cut pad? Uh, you shouldn't ever have to replace it. Really? Really. Like really, really. I'm pretty sure. Deborah says there's lots of turkeys in North Carolina. She was just at the store today. Well, that's good. Now, that's do you mean three turkeys as in human yeah. turkeys? Uh, yeah, that or was turkeys a good one. as in gobble gobble turkeys? People who work there. Okay. So, turkeys. <laughs> what? Are the turkeys. Are the turkeys. Yeah. Okay, so now I'm looking at my little guy and I'm trying to decide how I'm going to do this and I want to peel this up a little. That was a good one, Stephanie. I know, wasn't it? Yeah. Because I was thinking of you. Oh, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> That was funny. Well, I'm going to get you a t-shirt that says something about being a turkey. Oh, shush. Okay, so I'm peeling <laughs> up the S, kind of. What's that noise? Okay, what am I on time? Okay, and I want him to look like he's holding the S. So I'm peeling it up a little. There we go. And yes, this is true. It's going to need a bigger envelope. I was just going to ask that. It's bigger. It's worth it. Look how cute, because now it looks like he's holding the S. Merry Christmas. Now I'm going to open that up. And I'm gonna grab a stamp, and this one's gonna say Merry Kiss Mouse, Chris Mouse. Because yeah, if you're joining late, don't worry, this gets recorded, or if you have to leave, it's being recorded so you can come back and watch it from the beginning, or if you are leaving towards the end, you can find it and watch the end too, so don't Are you don't trying to make it sound that. like I talk too much? Is that why? It's no, uh, some people are saying they're leaving, and some people are saying they jumped in late. Oh, <clears> yeah. <throat> it's all good. So I'm getting my cranberry out. Do I want cranberry? Yes. Where's my strawberry? Oh, my strawberry was out. I don't remember what happened to it. Okay. So here's my the baby's got it. No, baby luckily boy. he did not this time. <laughs> and this is, remember, it's a brand new stamp set, so I got a stamp on scratch. Tony says somewhere they said, what was that comment? I got to see this. Uh-oh. See if my prediction is correct or not. I hope not. <sighs> Because I don't want to have to deal with that. You have to go buy it today then if you think it's going to be out. I don't want to have to deal with that. If I am not, e I want turkey on Thanksgiving. Okay, so I'm putting that back because I'll lose it if I don't. Okay, and now, dun dun dun, dun we have to just add our. Tony says two days ago said shortage of turkeys and double the price. No way! Happy Thanksgiving to us, right? Yes. Okay, Kenny, in that um, drawer, right, the left drawer of my desk, there's some new personalized stamps. Will you grab them, please? Because I want to do a new stamp, a new one. Yeah. To act hot, one of I these shapes. Oh no, not the uh, ba, ba, ba. yeah, the square one. Yeah. Yeah. Sneak peek. Don't ask me when, though. Okay, throw it. <laughs> Wait, is it the right one, though? Hang on. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I love this one. Okay, it doesn't have my name on it, but it's a new, um, I'm working on new personalized, actually probably only two new personalized, but this one is really cool. Hang on, let me, it probably won't be out till the beginning of next year because I'm still working on it, but it says, hang on, it's, uh, let's use this. Marie, go ahead and contact the um, office at info at the stamps of life about that problem. We can help you out. Three, I mean, yeah, three. Three. 
Okay, ready? This is the first time. Hang on, hang on. It's brand new. I haven't even tested it yet. Okay, hang on. Now I gotta ink it again. I hadn't even tested it yet. Okay, so there's a brand new coming soon. You can have it say whatever you want, but with this frame and this font. And it says, this card is a handmade limited edition. So you sort of have to keep it forever. Just saying. So that is the new frame. Oh, I was going to show them that up close. Oops. So there we go. This card is a handmade limited edition, so you sort of have to keep it forever. <laughs> what font is that? It's a new one. Huh. Okay, here is my finished card. Merry Christmas. Look how cute it is. Look how cute my little... Look at how my coloring looks, you guys. I look like an artist, don't I? Isn't that awesome? Merry Christmas. Open it up. Merry Christmas. And then on the back, you have to sort of keep it forever. There is my card. Now, again, the die set is incorrect. However, <laughs> still purchase it at the flash sale. We will send you the wrong one. You can still make it work by using the window. However, at the same time, we will make sure within 31 days, we will send you the new version. I will put a rush on it and we'll see how fast I can get it. But I apologize for that. Uh, proof I am human <laughs> and I make mistakes all the time and it is what it is. So that is our card. Oh, we need to do another contest. I mean, raffle and we'll grab Emery's and I did cut some, by the way, Emery. Um, oh, that's a too easy one. Uh, let's see. Oh, here's a good question. Do you finish a paper pad before moving to another one or do you pull matching colors from multiple paper pads? So do you finish a paper pad before you go to the next one or do you just use whatever you want? So say the word finish or whatever I want, okay? That is gonna enter you, everyone can enter. That is gonna enter you to win a $25 gift certificate to the website. So you're going to answer the question, do you like to finish a pad before you go to the next one or do you just use whatever you want? That is a good question. So, and Anne-Marie, look, I put the used ones in here so I don't reuse them on accident. But I'm not throwing them away because someday I'm going to reuse them. Okay, so I use whatever I want, Ellen says. Finish one, Della says. Whatever I want, Amy says. Whatever Pat says. Everybody's got to enter if you're watching, and I mean you. You've never answered the chat before. You need to answer. Just the word finish or whatever I want. It's up to you. But everybody gets to be entered. Whatever I want goes, says Denise. Judy says whatever I want. Tony says I use multiple pads, whatever I want. See, that's how I am too. But you could be a person that just wants to use it all up before you move on, which is really smart, but I just am not that, I'm not that, in, uh, I can't handle that. Okay. Okay, oh, I gotta fix that later. Okay, so Kenny, are you watching? He's watching. No, I'm getting to... ready to wrap this show up. Oh, he's getting ready <laughs> to wrap the show up. Is that what you're trying to tell me to hurry up? Nope. Okay. I'm just trying so to. So what I'm doing here is I'm just slowly starting to clean up and you guys might wanna just be interested in this. So I have my um, extra red, even though it has a little mark on it, this goes in the special spot with all of the other reds that have the adhesive on the back because these are the important scraps, right? So I saved those for later. So those go in there and put that back over there. Um, throw all this trash away. I can put my markers away. I always like to try to, I try to clean up before I start the next project because I feel like my mind is clearer. Um, which I don't know if that's really true. Yeah, but I was just going to question up. that. Shut up. Shut up. Don't, I was no just going to question that. No so I'm glad you said it. Hey, but well, who's, who's <laughs> the one that said this room was getting too messy and I needed to clean it? Who said that? Me. Well, and I, I, who, I think I thought it before that. Yeah, but who, <laughs> when you came in after church last night, wasn't it clean in here? Yes. Yes. yes and then yes. I had all your garbage <laughs> everywhere everywhere there's a little tiny couch for the dog to sleep on he had his stuff there so she couldn't jump onto the couch so we're gonna have a talk later <laughs> can i show him the personalized stamp so we yes, get upset really quick okay let's... really quick because we got to go we have lunch okay personalized stamps if you've never seen them <clears throat> on the left side of the home screen you click on clear stamps personalized and then you kind of wait and there shows you all the different options the icons and how you can um, space everything out and they're lots of fun.
we have a lot of these going out. So especially with all the new icons, Stephanie yes. added a bunch of icons recently. So but those just a are heads very, up, very popular. We won't make it in time. Oh, well, wait, November. Christmas gifts, I would say iffy, very iffy because we run out. We I mean, can try. It, we try, but I don't, it, it, it's the time length is getting yeah. a little longer. Things right have now. been really fast lately, but, but now it could start to change. With Christmas, so, yes. yeah, I don't yeah. know. I do not know. So, can you pick a winner? Do you want me to pick a winner? Yep, pick a winner. Okay. Our winner is from Facebook. Mm -hmm. And she said, whatever I want. Whatever I want. Yes. Ooh, ooh. It is Veronica Palomino. Veronica, you just won a $25 gift certificate to our website. What was the last name again? Palomino. Palomino. You are going to email Faileen at info at the stamps of life .com, and she will get that $25 gift certificate out to you via email. My friends. I just want to say, oh yeah, we got to go. My, I just want to say thank you so much. Thank you for your love, your support, and your prayers. I apologize the dies are backwards, but don't worry. We will fix it and get this one for now because then you'll get the flash sale price and then we will send you the new ones. So they're still usable? They're still usable, yeah. Yeah, they're still usable. They're just backwards, so you have to hold it up to the light. But we will get, you will ha end up with two in the end because you'll end up with the wrong ones that you'll throw away when you get the new ones. Gotcha. So you will get the new ones. Okay. Um, it's going to take about 30 days. Give us, you know, we got to have them made. But um, at our cost, of course, we will send you the correct ones. But get them now because they will go off flash sale in 24 hours. Okay. So, but thank you. I appreciate your support. I appreciate your kind comments about my mistake. <laughs> um, but we will see you. When's the next day? A Monday for a No Makeup Monday. We have a live release coming. Uh, I'm not a live release. We have a release coming up on the 7th this sunday so those of you most of you know that means you're going to tune in on saturday night on the website to check it out do you want to tell me about hsn hsn i will be on facebook live on tuesday on their facebook page and i hope you all tune in and i hope you all say stephanie when are you going to be on hsn again real hsn please feel free to throw that into the chat. Um, yes, because we have no purchase orders as of right now. We are not scheduled at all to be on HSN, real HSN. So please feel free to jump in and ask that. Okay, my friends, thank you all so much. I will see you Monday for No Makeup Monday. Have a lovely weekend. Stay safe, stay happy, and keep crafting, and I will see you again soon. Bye-bye.